What up guys, welcome back to the channel, man. I want to just start off by letting you guys know um, the Honda builds aren't going anywhere, so don't think that. Just because we got the S10, dude, I've wanted an S10 forever, um, and I'll get into the plans for that thing here in the near future, man, because I am getting more and more amped up on building that thing, but I just want to let you guys know that the Honda builds aren't going anywhere, and a bird shit on my car. But Khaki's a forever car. We're still working on Gotham and Venom. We still have the Barnyard EF up there that we're going to be putting together this year as well. Here coming up soon as well. I, I almost have everything I need to put that car together. We got the EP3 over there we're going to dig into soon. Uh, the 2JZ Civic is also going to be getting dug into here soon. We have a lot of builds on the channel, man. That That is... There's no lie about that, but um, just to be straight up, man, I'm, I want to start messing with a little bit of other stuff other than just Hondas. So if that makes like a lot of you guys like upset or something, like I don't understand why, but if that makes you feel some kind of way to where you want to unsubscribe from my channel, bro, like I, I'm sorry about that. I really am. I genuinely am. But if that is where you're at, I'm gonna be straight up with you. Um, you're not DB fam, man. You know what I'm saying? My DB fam wouldn't do that to me. You guys know I'm still the same person. It's just, it's a different car. And who the hell doesn't like an S10? And who the hell doesn't like a freaking 64 Bel Air, man? Yeah, this is not an Impala. This is a Bel Air. Though they are the exact same body style. I was actually looking it up, and there's very small differences. Obviously, the Impala was the upper class model like it came with a lot more chrome trim and a lot more fancy stuff dude for as old as this car is i mean they're all the same nowadays man it's just a big old chunk of metal right but anyhow the uh bel air also has four tail lights on the rear instead of having six um i can actually get an impala trunk and it'll have the six tail lights and it would be the exact same bro and it bolts right up anyhow guys this is a clean title arizona car bro and though there is some surface rust and that is just because this thing sat for a long time in a body shop where they did a lot of sanding and stuff on it so this was probably down to bare metal um this surface rust will literally sand off man it's not rot you know what i'm saying i've been all through this damn car there is absolutely no rust anywhere as a matter of fact we just had a bunch of rain here in arizona um, and this car was sitting in the, the guy's backyard. So it rained and it filled up in here. And as you can see, there's a there's a puddle of water right there. And there's a puddle of water back here. Though that's not good for there to be a puddle of water. That is a good sign though. That means there's no holes. There's no rust. There's no rot. It's not leaking. It's puddling. You know what I mean? I have not been able to get these doors to open, however. Oh, all right. There's the rear door. Oh, nice. Dude, as you can see, all solid metal, dude. The rocker panels down here, the bottom of the doors are not rusted out. Like, I used to have, well, this is now the oldest vehicle I've ever owned. This is a 1964. Uh, Prior to owning this, the oldest vehicle I ever had was a 71 Pontiac Firebird way back in the day, bro. It was, it was almost my very first car. Actually, you know what? It was my very first car. It's the first car that I personally owned myself was a 1971 Pontiac Firebird, and which is now literally my dream car, just so you guys know um, if you ever were wondering that. But my 71 Pontiac Firebird, I remember all the bottoms of the doors were all rusted out, and that is definitely rat shit. Wow, there's a bunch of poop inside my door. What's up? But um, one thing to note though is this side has hinges. So we got two hinges there and we got two hinges here. The reason I bring that up is because the driver's side actually has no hinges. So if you look, the doors are kind of sitting a little funky. As you can see, just sitting there. That's wild, bro, because we didn't even notice that until we got the, the car home and I was trying to open the door. I was like, dude, there's no freaking hinges on these. There's like nothing holding them on. So we actually drove all the way from Tucson all the way to Phoenix with the doors just kind of sitting there. But luckily, we did have a strap going through it because we were afraid that one would swing open. But definitely sketchy, bro. Definitely freaking sketchy. Look, it actually came with an entire set of doors and this one these doors actually have all the handles and stuff all the handles and all the glass so those doors have all the handles all the glass these doors actually have no glass um, no handles they were basically just completely stripped because this thing spent from what i understand it spent a lot of time at a body shop 
So I'll get into that in a little bit. I'll tell you guys the backstory on this. So Josh pulled back up. In yesterday's video, I told you guys that we're gonna talk about what Josh is gonna be doing for the channel um, coming up and it is really exciting and all that kind of stuff. And then we didn't even talk about it. And just to let you guys know, I'm sorry I didn't go over the car in yesterday's video as well. Kind of left you guys like a little bit of a teaser, but we ran out of time, bro. We spent eight hours in that damn truck just pulling a trailer. But what's going on, dog? What up? So, th dude, this guy already found another car at the junkyard. That thing looks complete as hell. Is that a rear bumper? Yep. And a, and front, a front bumper? bumper? And windshield. Dude, it's got all the glass. It's got everything. That's at a junkyard? Should call him and, like, get an idea how much these parts are going to cost. So I don't want to show up there like, fucking, yeah, man, I need a hood. And they're like twelve hundred dollars. I'm like, what? And a bumper. Yeah. Like, and a right, bumper. Two grand. <laughs> two grand. Good luck. Crap. But anyhow, guys, this thing is really dope, man. I hope you guys are excited about this car. I'm gonna be straight up with you. Like it took, it kind of took all my play money that I have at the moment to really to get the car. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm gonna have to sit on it for a little bit. We gotta gather up parts and everything. Luckily, Josh just found like all the parts here locally at a junkyard, which is wild as hell um, because I was gonna mention in this video if any of you guys have any leads on some parts for this damn thing because I thought it was gonna be a lot harder to find. But anyhow, for the time being, I really want to get the seats out of this thing. Maybe blow all the dust out of it and everything. I want to see the floors. I want to see if the floors are as in good of condition as I am thinking they are. Because everything I could see, bro, is freaking solid. I don't see any rust anywhere. But I would really like to just kind of get the seats out. Maybe hose them off. You know what I'm saying? I mean, a little bit of water ain't going to hurt anything. This thing's been open forever. And good old Josh is here to help. I doubt yep. you even knew you were going to be helping me, huh? Uh, I'm down. You down? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You positive? Yeah. Dude, this is one of those kind of cars like you can't work on by yourself. Like I was thinking I was going to come out this morning and push this damn thing into the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to happen, right? No, not at all. no, you can't. Dude, even if the tires were aired up. And what? Dude, your boy's got Dayton's, man. <laughs> this is wild, bro. I, dude, I'm not going to lie. Whenever I first got into cars, I was really young and like building model cars and stuff. That was like my thing. Bicycles, like I worked on bicycles and built model cars. And one of the number one model cars that we always built were freaking, well, me and my cousin were 64 Impalas, man. We would make the little hydraulics and all that stuff. Like I was really into low riders. Um, that was kind of my first thing whenever I got into cars. What, what was your first thing? Uh, old, really? Old, old school Mustangs and old school Vets. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, I mean, old I, school, I, like 60s. 60s what, yeah, you know what? I'm going to tell you, like, I would much rather a 60s Mustang than I would a 60s okay. Vet. Like, I kind of dig the older Mustangs more than I do, like, the first generation Corvette. Okay. Anyhow, guys, let's, let's pull some shit out of this thing. Oh, hinges, bro. Hell freak. Oh, that one has hinges, too. I'm stoked. <laughs> Dude, I'm really starting to become that house, bro. <laughs> can, you, can I borrow your backyard, Josh, for a little bit? Dude, I am really starting to become that house. Holy shit. I'm going to have to migrate some of this stuff to the backyard for sure. I straight up need a compressor hose right now. It's probably hydraulic. All right, so I'll go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a backstory on this thing. So I was looking for a transmission and an engine, um, and a subscriber hit me up and he said he had one of the transmissions that I was looking for, and which is actually in this. That's a subject for another time, but we were talking about how much he wanted for the transmission, and then we kind of agreed on a price, and then we ended up agreeing on a price for just the whole entire car, man. He sent me a couple of pictures, and I was like, dude, it, it was such a good deal, I just couldn't turn it down. If I'm being honest, man, like I got this... I. I think I got this thing for a steal, bro. So it came with the engine as well, in which this is a 383 stroker, originally a small block 350, um, and it's been built up to a 383 stroker. Um, I'm not a big V8 guy. I don't know exactly what all that means, <laughs> if I'm being honest with you. Um, but I was told that the engine had quite a bit of money put into it. The transmission has quite a bit of money put into it, um, and it's pretty fresh as far as being rebuilt. Like this stuff doesn't have a whole lot of miles on it, right? So anyhow, I, I was talking to the guy about like where he got the car and he actually got this car from one of his friends, which it was his friend's 
build some years ago um, ended up taking this thing to an auto body shop and from what I understand this car sat in an auto body shop like they basically took the whole thing apart like the whole car like it was running and driving when they took it to the body shop and then the body shop just completely disassembled this thing had everything off and they they did some sanding they did some primer as you can see um, they got to a certain point and this thing sat in the back of the lot for I don't know exactly how long, but for long enough that the guy who owned the car started to get upset and decided that he was just gonna go pick the damn car up in pieces. At the body shop is where the bumpers got lost, where the hood got lost, where the front and rear windshields got lost, um, all the glass and everything. So when the guy picked the car up, he brought it to his house, and I guess over time, he started trying to piece together pieces to put the car back whole like it originally was when he took it to the body shop so that's the reason why there's four uh, a whole nother set of doors over there because he needed the glass and all the handles and all that stuff that the body shop didn't give him back it's been through a couple of owners um that guy ended up selling it to the guy that i got it from so it's been through a couple of owners and it's been a couple of people's project now um until it has ended up here in my possession and i'm not gonna lie my original intent was to just pull the engine and the transmission out of this thing and then immediately put the body back up for sale. But of course, whenever I went and got it, you guys know how I am, bro. Like I fall in love with things and I get attached to things. And now I just, I don't want to get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? I would rather get rid of a couple other projects <laughs> if I'm being honest. I don't know exactly how far we're gonna get with this thing. I know that I do want to keep it for a little while while I decide and make up my mind. My decision was gonna be based off whether or not I can find a hood and bumpers and glass at a reasonable price because I ain't rich, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, don't, I didn't want this to end up being one of those things that these pieces are so rare that like a hood's gonna cost me a thousand bucks. The bumpers are gonna cost me 500 bucks type of thing. You know what I mean? If that's the case, I would rather just off it. Just get rid of it to somebody who can afford to build something of this caliber and just keep the engine and transmission. So that's my story, bro. That's the story. That's the reason why I got it. Um, yeah, there's definitely a plan here with all this stuff in which I'm sure you guys can put one and one together and get two, but I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Dude, I freaking knew it was meant to be. Look at this. There's the grill to the car. You know what I'm saying? You guys thought I was abandoning our brand, bro. Hell freaking no. <laughs> uh, it's my Honda Bel Air. So yeah, this is mostly filled with like all the little trim pieces and all that. But there are some interior pieces which are freaking metal, bro. What is up? Isn't that dope? Like... All the little interior shit, like the dash, man. Like, I'm going to be able to literally just sand that and put a fresh coat of paint on it. Is that my dash pad? That looks like my dash pad. Uh, that's where the airbag goes, right there. Yep. Yes, sir. You can go ahead and pull that shit off first. All the amp wiring. Shit, this already looks, looks better even without this shit. Hell yeah. No rust. By the way, you owe me 60 bucks for the cut myself. It's 60 dollars a cut. I owe you $60 for cutting yourself? Yeah, that's my fee. What if I cut you? Well, it depends. Is it on camera or not on camera? Not on camera. Then it's, then it's more. Bruh, like what if I cut you to the point I ain't got nobody to pay, motherfucker? <laughs> no, that's evidence. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to mess with me, bro, because I'm, I'm an actual gangster now. I have a 64. Oh, Shoot. Yeah. yeah, 64 Bel Air Honda. Yeah, <laughs> 64 on the Bel Air. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's all me, bro. Look at this thing. It's got glass fuses. I can't get my camera in there. Hang on. I'm going to zoom in. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. The Canon G7X is zoom in. Look at that, bro. Glass fuses. Like, we're going to have to get rid of all that. Well, we almost got this thing all emptied out, bro. All the nuts and bolts and freaking screws and shit, they had them back here in a bag. And I went to go pick it up, and it just all ripped and went there. Dude, do you hear the echo? There's an echo in this car. Hello. 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 <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious. Ain't it? I grabbed another bag. Got to bag up all the bolts. And then uh, got to put all my nuts in a bag. <sighs> and then vacuum out all this freaking rat shit. Dude, there's genuinely rat shit in this thing. For the first time, I've actually gotten a vehicle that it's got... Did you just cut my wire? Yep. What are you doing? All right, there's my nut sack. Swing shot, engage.
Bro, look at, dude, that's like plenty enough room for a speaker box up there for a couple of 12s. And you're not even using the trunk, man. That is freaking wild. This has to have a system in it. Yeah. Like, that's my main, my main goals with this build is I, I just want it to run, for one. I just want it to be able to drive. It doesn't have to be fast. I just want it to drive. Um, I want it to have a crazy-ass loud system. And I want to put hydraulics on it, bro. Dead ass. I want to put hydros on this. I've already made a couple calls. <laughs> I got a couple homies that's got low riders, bro, with like hydros and all that. So you got it set up already. Yeah, yeah, dude. I've already got a place to put my batteries. You know what I'm saying? And whatever the, whatever you mount to that. You know what I mean? I noticed, I noticed like the control arms and stuff on this has been like cut in certain areas, like in order to fit hydros and all that. So I mean, it already had hydraulics on it. So there's already been a lot of preparation for it made. That's, that's a rag, or a dead rat, one or the other. Here you go. <laughs> Dude, look at this gauge cluster though. This thing is freaking heavy, bro. Holy crap. I don't know if we'll ever use this again, but I'm definitely not going to get rid of it. And I probably shouldn't pressure wash it either. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Like you can put a mattress in there and like lay down in there comfortably. Like this is huge, bro. Like imagine having like a seat right here that like the back folds up. And like you can sit back here at the drive-ins or something. Hot tub. Or a hot tub. I just don't know if it'll handle the weight. Well not as it is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright. Oh my god, what a freaking mess, bro. It's everywhere. All right, so we got this thing completely freaking emptied out. Emptied out, vacuumed out. Um, I have everything lined up right here that basically that I want to pressure wash. All the stuff that I don't want to pressure wash, we have kind of organized and in a box over there. Damn it. <laughs> Stop fucking laughing at me. <laughs> I just stepped on my dash. I hope I didn't bend it. Anyhow, um, went through a lot of this stuff, threw a lot of the crap away that I know damn well I'm not gonna need, bro. Like, I just really want to get rid of this, like, super old, smelly, mildewy, rusty ass car smell and vibe that this thing has so i don't know for me the most exciting part about getting a vehicle like this is doing the cleanup man like i mean obviously going through the process of getting it done as well but i just i really enjoy just watching all this dirt and grime just disappear so you can get a really good look at what it is you have to work with man get it all the way down to the base on what it is like you have to build so it's all cleaned out but as you see there's still a lot of dirt build up and shit that we couldn't necessarily vacuum out i'm also gonna get this like insulation off the roof Th this is the stuff that was like underneath the headliner i just want to get rid of that shit because it's like really dusty and falling apart so that's probably gonna make a ginormous ass mess all over the street sorry neighbors i'll clean it up maybe Oh my god, bro. I wasn't expecting it to be this bad. So that's all that stuff that was like on the roof. It like turned into mud, bro, like all over the place. I need a new 
you pump get it. Amazon. All right, guys, got this thing all put back together. I mean, as put back together as we're going to get it. So all the stuff that we want to keep, got it all organized and put into the trunk. Um, honestly, for the most part, like a lot of this stuff, I'm probably going to throw away. Like the extra, well, I mean, I mean, not like throw away, but I'm not going to need like the window regulators and stuff. I may end up running those other doors that it came with because they're already all assembled. Can literally just like mask some stuff off, sand them and spray them, you know what I'm saying? And then put those doors on. But I mean, I'm getting too far ahead of myself. We went ahead and set the clown interior back inside like dude 100 these seats will not be staying in this car just so you guys know because this is dude it's the ugliest thing i think i've ever seen in my life bro like who does that i bet you somebody actually paid money to have that done but the thing cleaned up really well got all the dirt out so now i need to fix these two flat tires because i don't want it sitting out here on flats I'm hoping that they'll hold air. I need to get them pulled off, take them down to a tire shop and see if they can't patch them up or something. Um, if not, maybe just throw some cheap ass, like used tires on here for now so that they'll actually hold air. Cause eventually I'm gonna wanna push this thing up into the driveway cause we gotta pull the engine and transmission out of it. So um, I don't wanna do that out in the street and it's most certainly not gonna freaking push up into the driveway on these flats. <laughs> never in my life would imagine i would own one of these like a set of this um i've seen them like on videos like on movies or on like youtube videos or whatever but i straight have one of the little knockoff things <laughs> and the freaking uh, uh uh lead hammer dude and it's all mauled up and everything just like the ones you'd see on videos or on movies it's hilarious i've never done this before so bear with me Oh my god. Almost took my arm out. This is literally my first time ever taking off a Dayton. My first time watching someone take off. But... <laughs> there it is. Congratulations, guys. We have taken off our very first freaking Dayton, bro. <laughs> Look at all that trim. We're putting all that stuff back in the parts corner. Um, it's it's one of those things like, I feel really guilty throwing it away, but I more than likely won't ever use it, man. If I'm being straight up with you, because the stuff's all bent up and whenever it comes down to time to like paint that car and get it looking nice, I will never take that bent up, mangled up, freaking ugly trim and try to rub it against my fresh paint trying to attach it to the body. It just, it won't happen. Anyhow, I got my saws all ready. And we're gonna go looking for some um, catalytic converters. I gotta pay my mortgage. Yeah, I was just kidding. We weren't going to get catalytic converters. We weren't going to rob anybody. We we're going to get robbed. Braven, guess how much? Like, take a wild guess how much it costs to put two of my tires onto two of my wheels. So I took tires with me. I'm just saying they charge you more than a hundred. More than a hundred? Jesus Christ, I would have shot the guy if he tried to rip, fucking rob me like that. Yeah, 40 freaking dollars. Put my tires on my wheels, it cost me $40. I'm like, bro, and this one won't even hold air because the, uh, the uh, spokes are leaking. Yeah, man. Apparently th this is Dayton problems. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I'm just upset that I just spent $10 away from half of a hundred to put my tires on my wheels right now. Did somebody take my fun? Yeah. Did you really spend this on already? Yeah, yeah you were taking forever. Why'd you take my fun, bro? Because you, you get to tighten it. That's fun. That's tight enough. Come on. Come on. There we go. You're not taking my fun on this one, bitch. Maybe. Man, this one's flat, bro. Don't even hold air right here. Give it a little tap. It's uh, good. I gotta leave it a little loose for the homies around the corner. It's probably gonna try to steal my Dayton's in the middle of the night. Sitting on the side of the street in my 6'4. <laughs> all right, here we are, man, at the end of another day. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I didn't expect this car to take all freaking day long. But what can I say? Like, I'm used to working on Civics and stuff. I'm not used to 
having to have someone help me pull the seat out of the damn car. Like the thing weighed as much of a, as a couch. <laughs> like we have to like turn it like sideways. Like you know how you get a couch down the hallway into that weird bedroom and it's hard to get into? Bro, that was pulling the front bench seat out of that damn car. But um, I did mention to you guys that we're gonna talk about what exactly Josh is gonna be doing, playing a role, well, currently, but more so in the future. Um, gonna be playing a pretty big role in the channel. Um, and that is, he's gonna be taking over all the merch, bro. So. Um, the idea is in which, have you thought of a name for like an Instagram? Like we need a Dead brainstorm. Beat merch. Deadbeat merch. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Throw it in the comments down below what we should, because we're going to make a new Instagram and everything that's just for the merchandise side of Deadbeat Garage. Deadco? What the hell? Deadbeat Co. Deadbeat Co? DVG Co. No, put it in the comments, man, what we should, because we're going to make a new Instagram so that every time we have new merch come up, um, we can he can post it up like he's gonna run that Instagram the website to it and everything So whenever there are new merch drops like you can see the stuff on there You can see the products on there. You could click on them from there, but Anyhow, like Josh is gonna be playing a big role, dude. Where I had all my shirts made before, my screen print guy, he's not doing it anymore. Like he's looking for a company to do the screen printing. He's gonna be handling getting hats and stuff made. He's gonna be handling looking up new types of merch as far as keychains and lanyards and, and more creative things. Like he's already came up with quite a few ideas that I never even thought of before. Um, as far as getting a hold of um, like people to make new designs. Like he's already came up with a couple new designs uh, which we are in the works of getting uh, manufactured and stuff so we can get them dropped for you guys um, that are freaking dope, dude. Hella freaking dope. And I'm, I don't know, I'm definitely excited to have you as part of the team. Um, is there anything that you wanna say or? Like, like comment, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> this man but yeah anyhow um he's he's gonna be a huge part of the channel dude um so as of right now i know there's i know i currently have a bunch of orders of like sweaters and stickers and stuff um i have a bunch of emails and stuff so um, I'm working on, we're actually setting up an office here in the house because I have an extra bedroom, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm gonna set an office up in there that's just gonna be directly, specifically for merch, man. It's gonna have the computer in there. Um, it's gonna have the printer, uh, the, the sticker machine. We're gonna put shelves for stocking merch and like all that kind of stuff. So I'm definitely gonna be, we're gonna be stepping up the game uh, this year and Josh is gonna, be a huge freaking part of it man so um because it, it just became overwhelming for me like especially whenever we're doing the giveaways and stuff um to keep up on the merch so basically like it, it's gonna be all josh dude he's gonna be handling all that you're kind of my white balance is blown out let me adjust that Casper, bro. But yeah that's um that's what josh is he's basically like a, a new member of the family or an employee or both you know what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah you'll see him every once in a while probably helping out in videos like he did today um but for the most part that's not going to be like his role around here like he's gonna yeah i don't want him to come over here busting his ass you know what i'm saying well thanks i can't i can't have him getting scratched because he's gonna charge yeah, me 60 dollars yeah that's freaking wild <laughs> but yeah dude i'm i'm definitely excited to have him as part of the uh part of the team um 2022 moving forward we're gonna we're gonna step things up as far as deadbeats becoming more of like a brand you know what i'm saying as far as the merchandise side of things video guys that's what i wanted to let you know uh we will be coming up with that new instagram soon and stuff so stay posted um everything's in the works right now we're, we're trying to get everything organized and um just yeah dude i'm just excited for this year it's gonna be dope my new year's resolution man is to try to focus on finishing cars <laughs> but yeah i hope you enjoyed today's video Have you guys seen in yesterday's video i got the bumpers and everything for khaki sprayed i needed to let the paint go ahead and dry so now i have to come back and mask everything off get all the paint or all the black sprayed now i have a bunch of other stuff that we have to spray black so that's going to be in tomorrow's video um so yeah anyhow hope you guys enjoyed today's video peace out and i'll see you on the next one man say later goodbye. josh say goodbye right yeah say goodbye right ahead no i'm the last one i know <laughs> That was bye. my way of saying bye. Oh. Say goodbye real good. <laughs> Dude, he was so offended that you were potentially going to be the last one to say bye. <laughs> He's like, that's my place. That's my spot. Oh, my battery's dead. Perfect timing.